Fortnite Chapter 2 has brought us a brand new map and of course with any new map there are always secrets to be discovered. So in this video I'm going to be going through some of the secrets and easter eggs that have been discovered in the Chapter 2 Season 1 map. We're going to be taking a look at them and also trying to explain and decipher what some of these easter eggs and secrets might mean. So let's get straight into the video and see what we can find. This one is a downed military plane just on the island next to the lighthouse. And this is a reference to the TV show Lost. I've never personally seen Lost, but apparently this plane is exactly like the one in the TV show with the way that it has been destroyed on the map. And also, if you guys remember, in the previous map we had the bunkers, which were confirmed to be direct easter eggs from the TV show Lost. So it's kind of cool that they've brought that into the season 2 map quite interesting So like I mentioned at the airplane, we also have three different bunkers that are scattered around the map. Now this first one is just next to Retail Row at the other side of the mountain. As you guys can see, it is hidden in this bush. And this one has been confirmed to be a fake bunker and I'll explain that as we look through the other two bunkers. But it is overall a fake bunker. You can't do anything, it doesn't have anything in it. Once you destroy the bush, all you can see is the top of the bunker. There is isn't currently anything textured which is why it is a fake bunker the next fake bunker is located underneath this little beach house on the little island as you can see the lighthouse is in the background this one was very difficult to find it only came about by luck because as you guys can see looking at the house you wouldn't be able to suspect that a bunker is lurking underneath it behind the rocks now like the other one there isn't anything underneath this at the moment so it is the second fake bunker and finally, the last bunker is just off this little cliff area with the funny rock designs. If you go underneath the water, you can finally see the last bunker. This one apparently has been confirmed to be the real bunker, quote-unquote, whatever that means. Even I'm not sure. But this is the final bunker in the map, and it's quite interesting that they've used the water mechanics to add things and little Easter eggs like this underneath the map. So it's a nice little touch by Epic. I do like that one. So carrying on with the water easter eggs, can you guys remember this guy? Of course you can, he's been in since season 1. As you guys remember, he had a progressive look throughout the seasons and he lost his arm. Well, as you guys can see, he is back in season 1, chapter 2. Not looking exactly like he did before, he is a little bit worse for wear. But he has both of his arms back finally. So it's kind of nice that he made his way through the black hole. Like I said, not intact 100%. But he is there anyway. The next easter egg that we are looking at is at this location which is known as Camp Cod. Now looking at it you wouldn't actually think that there is anything special about this location. I don't expect it to get much traction throughout this season because it is on a little island out of the way of the main areas. But if you actually go to it and look deeper you'll see some items that have made its way from season 1 to 10 which is really nice to bring some of that nostalgia with us so if you make your way into this little barn area and make your way upstairs you can start to see some of these items returning the first one as you guys can see is from sunny steps off the building so that obviously made its way through the rift now just outside of the main building we have the lion that was at the soccer stadium and i think it was also in gotham for season 10 as well and then just behind him in the main house, we have the bear that was famously known in Lonely Lodge in the Hunting Star. He has been around the map, but this is his main location that I remember him from, at least. So it's really nice that he came back as well. And of course, saving the best till last is the clock face from the OG 
tilted towers this has made its way into chapter two guys it doesn't work but i am not bothered about that i'm just more bothered about the fact that it has made it into chapter two absolutely beautiful so there is one more little easter egg on this island but i'm not going to show you guys what it is or where it is because i want this place to get some love in it this season i feel like this is going to be one of my favorite places to visit for some reason i kind of like this area it's kind of out of the way and that's just what i like but i want you guys to find out what this last little easter egg is and comment it down below because i want it to be a little challenge for you guys i will say that it's a sign and it is propped up against something but i want you guys to comment down below what it says on the sign and where it was in the og map a little challenge for you guys so the next little easter egg is located in weeping woods and if you make your way into the heart of the woods you will see these two guys obviously it is a reference to the Durburger and the tomato temple tomato town area in the previous map what's interesting is that they're facing off on each other as you guys remember in the first 10 seasons there was the food war between the two factions obviously if that's going to carry on we don't know but i thought it was quite interesting that these are in the map if you guys look closely in the trailer you can actually see these get sucked into the portal so i presume that this is where they have landed so i thought that was really nice to bring those back as well the next one is an interesting one. If you make your way to Retail Road and follow this road all the way up until the Snowy Mountain and take a left at the T-junction, you will see this entrance to the Underground Bunker. Now, there isn't anything here at the moment, but I feel like this is going to be something to do with the storyline. How this will develop, we will have to wait and see. But if you make your way down the little road and you actually look at the door, as you guys can see, this door might look a little bit familiar to you guys who play save the world now if you press it on the circle bit there is something missing but in save the world if you press it it opens the door and you can make your way inside so it's interesting that that's missing but i think it's also interesting that it is in this location i feel like this is going to be something of a story development so what do you guys think will be inside do you think this is where the story is going to start or do you think it is just a nice little reference to save the world comment down below and let me me know what you guys think of it to some people on the map this little area by the beach with the rocks might look pretty innocent but for those guys who have seen the little mermaid they will know exactly what this area is it's a direct easter egg to that now personally i've never seen the little mermaid but from what i know the rock out in the water is the one that she rescues somebody on or something like that but it's quite interesting that this is a reference to the little mermaid not something you'd expect in fortnite so i thought that was kind of cute Now, if you make your way to the farm in this area, we have a nice little cute racetrack. Now, to some as well, this might seem quite innocent, but from the first 10 seasons, everything usually means something. At the start line, there is three lawnmowers. Now, if you guys remember in the previous map, there was another homemade race course. And on the start line was the shopping carts, which later went on to be an actual drivable vehicle in the game. So does that mean that we are going to get lawnmowers to be able to drive or fly in a future update? Who knows? So for the next Easter egg, we actually need to take a trip down memory lane. Do you guys remember this guy from season 7 or season 8? If not, don't worry, I am going to tell you the story of this little guy. But basically, he was near the Tomato Temple and he was looking for love. Now, as the seasons progressed up until season 10, he actually found his soulmate. As you guys can see from this image, across the lava, he found his soulmate and it was an absolutely fantastic storyline which then ended up with him having a child with her as you guys can see in this image all in the space of about three seasons so why am i mentioning these guys which is still clearly a better love story than twilight but i'm mentioning them because at the farm we now have a new guy who has taken over he is made out of hay bales and as you guys can see he looks like he is trying 
trying to wave at something but the only thing i found was this one single hay bale across from him so it might be worth keeping an eye on this location in updates and in future seasons to see if these actually develop into a storyline obviously we don't know what happened to the original rock family hopefully they made it through into the black hole but who knows maybe this one is just as good now moving back down to the swamp area if you make your way into the very corner there is a little house that looks quite creepy and for good reason if you look outside there are two fresh graves that have been dug you can't read anything on the headstone but the graves are clearly very fresh with the grave actually being open on this one now if you make your way into the house and look in the corner you guys can see this slurp machine and a operating table what's been going on in this house i actually dread to think some sort of experiments which have clearly resulted in death for the test subject might be interesting to see if something happens in this area as well and if this also develops into a story coming back up to the power plant you guys should know this by now but a lovely little easter egg referring to the first map is of course kevin the cube he now has his own energy company called kevolution energy where it looks like kevin is being used to fuel the entire map which is kind of a horrible thought because i don't know what they've done to poor kevin now if you actually take the time to make your way inside the power plant and actually make your way to this area just to the left through this door is a control panel for the nuclear reactor nothing special about that until you actually look a little bit closer there are some glazed donuts that have been eaten this of course is a direct reference to homer simpson who works at the power plant and is famous for eating his donuts on the job doesn't really do much work but i thought this was a nice little subtle easter egg to the simpsons at kevin at the power plant so guys, that is it for all the secrets and easter eggs in this video. I have probably missed an absolute ton off, but unfortunately there is going to be so many that are going to be found out in the next coming days. It's kind of hard to keep track of them all. So I thought I would make this one and show you guys the main ones that have been found so far. If you guys have got any that I have missed off this video, don't forget to post them in the comment section down below and tell people where they are as well. But I thought it was kind of nice. Like I said before, guys, a new map comes new secrets. It'll be interesting to see how this map develops throughout the seasons and how many Easter eggs can actually be found as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one.